Good morning. Good morning. I was calling in. I know I got voted down to do the red carpet event yesterday, but I was hoping maybe there... Eric, listen to me. Listen to me. You've even written on your website that there's no way you're going to go there and ask our stupid questions. I read it. This was after saying he yes. would? Yeah. <sighs> Eric. Eric, you don't want to, you just want a freebie to the red carpet. You're going to lie to us to get there and then do whatever you want, yeah. is what you're saying. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I got to get this done. It's something important for my show. I know I know you have your own agenda and everything, but why ruin my show? This is why it's called a job. You have to do things you don't want. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't really trust you, and I'm not making a bit out of it or a joke. I, I'm, I'm saying it as a human. I know you want to go, but I really need this job done. I need the celebrities to hear from us and hear our questions. I really do. I mean, you know, and it's going to mess me up. You have to go there as our representative, not as Eric. And by the way, Eric, it's so difficult to ask celebrities uncomfortable questions. It ain't a walk in the park. And I don't, think, I don't think you're up for the job, and it's not an insult. It's just the way it is. And I think you're going to screw me over. Out of anyone that you could choose, why the hell aren't you going to choose me okay i want a ton of damn tv i'll repeat myself i know i won't these, choose you because i, I think you're lying to me i know who these celebrities are better than anyone that you yeah, but you don't get the choose. essential element of this i need our questions asked not your questions you're gonna be all starstruck and just want to say hello i'm Somebody telling you on facebook came up with a good idea what if i first hit them to reel them in with other questions, then out of left field, hit them with one of your questions. Yeah, well, my, my questions are see. crafted that way. Some of them are How, very, he, very... He'll take 15 minutes to get out one question. He'll never get to our questions. Yeah, hey, hey, you know, look, I got a big celebrity here, Joe Pesci. I mean, ask him an it's offensive Jim question. Jim fucking Brewer. No, it isn't, asshole. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Jim Brewer is a pain in my balls. Every time I want to skate, that kid fucking brings me right back. Wrote me in his butt. He's a pain in my balls, that kid. He's How a good kid. How dare you? It looks like he's high all the time, though. Eric proving how smart he is. Who is this guy? <laughs> you know, who, who is this guy? <laughs> That's not part of the IQ test. I can't even. I can't even is he a real listener? Yeah, he's a real he's listener. Real. He's a real he's listener. He's real. He's a real listener. Yeah, who knows who he is? What does he do? What, what, who's, what's going on with this guy? Who's I'm real. You're not. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are you I'm coming sorry. at me now? I'm sorry. I'm Who the sorry. fuck is this guy? All Who right. the fuck are you, Eric? Eric. Why are you coming at Why are these people coming at me for? You know, Even the questions that we craft are, some. not all of them are outrageous questions. We do have some softball questions, you know. But I don't want your questions at all. And And, and, and I know what I want. I want a guy to go there. And ask my questions, and you're not going to do it. And I understand why. Some of my questions would e would even kind of be in the ballpark of what. No, they're not. What name one? Yeah, I'm telling you, I know his questions. Like if if he saw. What's your next movie? Yeah, right. Oh, what? what? No. <laughs> no. Hello. Is there going to be a sequel? Season. Begin. Fred, will you shut the fuck up and let me speak, asswipe? Oh, this guy's got problems. <laughs> yeah, he's got real problems. Give me, give me one of your outrageous questions. Yeah, Go ahead, Robin. human doorstep. <laughs> Go ahead, interview Robin. Ask her a question. Oh, well, okay. An example is if Christina Hendricks from Mad Men came up to me. Go ahead. It's a really ex extremely hot redhead with big natural breasts, I would ask her, would you ever consider doing Playboy showing just your breasts? You don't have to go full nude. That is an in Well, that isn't bad. Part. That isn't bad. I that admit. isn't great. It's not great, it's but, but that's a good opening question. But then he'd have to get to our no, question. He'd have to say, if, I, if he said, "Can I bronze you?" That would be. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the. the, the Can I climb inside your womb? <laughs> I think he thinks that is the crazy question. I know. That's oh. what I'm saying. He thinks that's crazy. And he's going to think oh, he's going to get away with it. Eric, I think that's the warm-up question. And then another thing I could ask is, to someone like her or someone else, if you found a 
movie script, a really good script. You like the part and everything, but then you eventually found out there's a nude scene. Would you still take it? Well, that's good for a warm-up. Warm up. One warm-up, and then you got to get into the good stuff. See? Yeah, he's That's gonna, where he's I'm going to give you those watered down questions. And people are walking away already. They right. don't have time for right. Eric and his half hour long questions. Right. That's the other thing. You only get like a minute with them. You know, Eric, it'll be a disaster. You can't do this. I, it's a, it's too strenuous. It'll for be you. uncomfortable for you. We won't get what we want. It's going to be. Shu where's Shuli? <laughs> where is Shuli? What's he got to do with it? Yeah, how does he involved in this? I did an interview with him yesterday about this. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, if you said to me, listen, Howard, whatever you put on the sheet of paper I'm reading and that's what I'm going to do, that'd be all right with me. But but I, I'm also thinking of the physical demands. You know, like people have to be aggressive. They have to really get their questions in there. Well, you know what? He wouldn't have to be aggressive because he looks, uh, you know, and, and don't you, take this the wrong way. You're somewhere. thinking that people will walk over. Yeah, people are going to have to, they can't ignore them or else they're, you know, you're going to be people who aren't uh, into the handicapped, <laughs> you know, and then they'll be branded with that. Right. No, everyone will walk over to them. There's no question. But they don't have unlimited amounts of time right. for him to give them 50 softball yeah. questions. Well, once he sees a nudnik, they're going to walk away. What is it, Shuli? What is, why is he calling you into this room? Well, you know, I talked to him this whole week about this thing. Right. And yesterday I interviewed him and, you know, Will brought up an interesting point where, you know, you guys lay out the game plan for him. If he deviates from that, then there should be some sort of punishment for him right. for not doing the job. Right. So I figured the only punishment that's worth throwing out there is the flying with balloons, something right. we've wanted He's for a long gonna time. He's not going to do it. No. Well, he agreed to it yesterday. He agreed to it. He'll agree to it, but he'll never show up. Right. They don't trust him. Show what me you're it? falling into the Eric the Midget trap. What I've fallen it? for it already. I'm an expert on Eric the Midget. This guy's a midget? Yeah. A midget? Yeah. We're talking to a fucking midget? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're too pissy, you're not much taller. <laughs> this guy's pretty funny. Right. Maybe he should put him on a carpet. <laughs> Maybe he should be the new balloon guy. No, the kite. Little fly kite. Fly kite. Let him get a little midget. Fly a fucking kite. Put him on a red carpet with a big fucking kite. We wanted to fly him, but he didn't go for it. We should fly him on the red carpet. In a fly him on a red carpet. A little, that sounds good, Howard. Yep. I like your idea. So you don't buy into it, Howard? Is I don't saying? buy into it. I love Eric. You know, uh, despite That's... all the haters out there, I do love the guy. I, 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 I find him amusing. But uh, I do know this. If I send him to the red carpet, we're not... Is there a joke in the fact that Eric's going to totally fuck this up? Yes. So if everyone wants to hear Eric fuck this up and blow it, let's send him. But just know he's coming back with shit. He, he's going to come back with nothing, nothing. usable. We're going to sit there and listen to it and just fucking talk about how bad he is. Because he's not going to ask the funny questions we write. And we'll have blown an opportunity. Right. Because That's right. How often do we get invited onto a red carpet? Rarely. Not I, that. I, never. No, that. Yeah. Who's going to see the guy? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, walk right past he, he, He's multiple handicaps. There's no, he looks like... like Jimmy Kimmel even said his hands are like plums. <laughs> I mean, no one can walk by him and ignore him. Right. Right. He's, and that's the beauty of it. He's that it? deformed. A little bit of an eyesore. Right. <laughs> Got to wear a hat. Yeah. And so he, he, you have to stop. As a celebrity, Mr. Pesci, you know if you ignore you a guy. You sit and you think he's from some organization. Right. If you ignore him, <laughs> if you ignore him, you know you'll be, you'll be banned in Hollywood. Yeah. I don't need some organization picking at me going, you, you ignored the fucking midget. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to go see a movie now. <laughs> so... Or best, you feel bad for him. That's my point. So th th there is a plus. They will come over to him. Will he ask them anything? No. He will. He, the interviews are going to be the most boring interviews you ever heard. What movie? It's a, what a, movie? a, re it's a, a premiere with like an it's Emmy. It's the kind Emmy. Of oh, all right. Yeah. All right, all right. right. He's going to mess it up. <clears throat> what if to ensure that I don't, instead of hanging something over my head if I mess up, give me a reward to succeed. What would be the reward that you're looking for now? <laughs> something that you guys were going to set up for me for the last couple of years and still haven't. What's that? That's a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Brandy to her. <laughs> Pussy. Uh, let me see something here. Now, maybe you're on to something. <laughs> 
You go on the red carpet. You like this guy, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, this is entertainment. If, uh, if you go to the red carpet and you succeed, and by succeed, I mean ask our questions. Right. I have to set up an interview with Brandy Talor for you, one-on-one. -on -one. Can I make that happen? I don't even know who Brandy Talor is. I don't is. know Brandy Talor. I mean, I can't guarantee I can get that, but I would try. I mean, like in a real way, I'd say, hey, will you meet with Well, Eric? can somebody make some phone calls today? What is it, Will? We, we can definitely make that happen. You could? Yeah, yeah. We've talked to her a bunch of times. And so in other words, what would it be? Eric could fly and interview her somewhere? Yeah, definitely. That's what you're after? Or here. Right, I mean... Well, I'm not sitting and listening to him interview Brandy Talor for... Right. Right oh, now. you mean have her on this show and have right. Eric be the uh, interviewer? I would just let him go interview her, and then, we don't, then we'll cut it up or something. Yeah. Because it'll be too fucking boring. Or to make it a one-hour show on 101. Him right. interviewing her. Oh, my God. The Eric show with Brandy yeah. Talor. Okay, that I'd do. Yeah. Why don't you fly a kite and drop him over there on top of her? <laughs> <laughs> he can fall inside of her, fall inside the porn star. Right. Eric the midget, he's in a porn Where'd she go? He's in there. He's in over there. We lost him. He's in a porn star. <laughs> you think he'll fall in? Well, you're going to see the little balloon hanging out. <laughs> yeah. I, was listening, in I was listening to some tapes, so I didn't hear everything, but you're saying that if he does a good job, he gets a reward? Yeah. Yeah, that's Why? what he Rewards, proposed. Because, listen, this kid... I've never given a reward to anybody I've ever sent to this listen event. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's a home run. Gary, you see a 121 IQ. <laughs> For once. Yeah, I'm doubting that. Fuck off. <laughs> Listen to this. You take this guy. He's a midget. Nothing is better than midget. No more right? than midget. It's pure entertainment. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everyone loves him. a midget. He goes, he inter does the interviews. Now he's got incentive. He asks our questions. If he doesn't ask our questions, we're going to no yell at him. No brandy to lure. Yeah, we're gonna, and we're going to play it on the air and yell at him. That's a home run show. If he fucks it up, it's a home run. If he wins, then he goes and interviews Brandy Talor, and we air it as a special, an hour special on, on 101. Everything you said is great. I just, I just, it makes me crazy how he manipulates us. But is he manipulating us, or are we manipulating him? I'm not sure. I think it's a little of both. <laughs> it's a good question. Thing is, we all end up with entertainment. This is what I'm saying. Now, let me ask you a question. He goes to the red car. Go ahead. That, who even knows if he'll make hold, it? Hold it. Right. He asks the questions we want him to ask. Right. It's still a debacle because he can't really get to anybody. He can't get out the question because he can't read off a paper. You know, it's just a mess, and everybody just walks away from him after he asks, asks the question. We get no good tape. Right. Does he still get Brandy Talor? No. All right, right so he, he really has to what, succeed. Who's, who's the so, final judge? If, if I'm the his, judge. He made his best I'm effort. I'm the judge. Okay. I'm in. If I feel he made his best effort, then the fine, I'll do it. I've got $10. He's going to have an hour special, this kid. <laughs> yeah, you, you're backing on it. $10. He's going to have a little hour special. Who's going to pick All him right, up at the line? You hooked me in. So he's back in. He's back in. Uh. With the brandy tour. Big tour. mistake. You think so? Pride. Yeah. He, you know what he's doing right now? I, I, I see it from a mile away. He's going to suck you in. He's going to convince you that he did a good job, even though he did a shitty job. Or he's and gonna you being a good-hearted person are still going to give him the Brandy Tulor right, interview. Right, right, right. And he's going to get everything he wants, plus a new set of tires for that fucking van. <laughs> right. Where, where he probably uses to go out and pick up, you know, hookers or something with. For, for that, there's a way around that. Oh, he's instead thought this of, through. Instead of paying what my dad wants, the mileage money for upkeep on the van, rent a van for Jan and I to take down to L.A. and bring back. Uh, I don't know. Eric, how about you're getting, you're getting an opportunity that no one else is going to give you. It's already out, a you know. prize for you to be on well, the red carpet. Can't and we get it, it already, it, see, now it's already seeming like a headache. I gotta, can't I gotta, we get another midget instead? I mean, there's, a there's cooperative tons midget? of midgets I don't think there. there is such a thing. Hey, Eric, good morning. How are you? Hey, Eric. Hi, picture Eric, everybody. Why are you dealing with this little midget? Let me take a red carpet for you. I won't give you a problem. You know, he is good, Eric. Yeah, but who's walking up to yeah, Eric? Nobody's walking up. That's the problem. <laughs> he smells oh. too bad. You could smell the fucker a mile away. <laughs> good point. Eric, yeah. come on. Why are you coming to Howard all the time that's doing a red carpet? Hey, Mr. Pesci. Is this a guy or a girl? It's a, it's a guy. <laughs> it's a guy with a... no balls, probably. Oh, I have more balls than you because I'll do whatever Howard wants. 
That's true. Excuse but can Eric a, read? Excuse me if I have a hard-headed Irish father that will not budge one inch on this mileage money. Oh. All right. Hey, no offense. This guy's a pain of balls. Yeah, I mean, do you know any <laughs> cooperative? Midget, if, if, if I'm a midget and someone said, hey, wait, you want to go on a red carpet? I say, who's carrying me? No, they're not going to fucking pay mileage you know and any, shit and get this guy a fucking van. You know what the fuck do you want? You want me to send you flowers? You want a fucking first class ticket? Fucking midget Jesus Christ, oh fucking mighty. You're out of house, you prick. You. You're lucky you're fucking anywhere. You might get a job. They might do fucking Willy Wonka 3 for Christ's sake. <laughs> You got an in job, this guy, busting balls. I need gas mileage. You need a fucking haircut, is probably what you need. So, uh, Get you some big shoes or something. Do you, know any, do you know any cooperative midgets? Cooperative midgets, for Christ's sake. Uh, this guy's a real bust in a hump right here, man. I'm a, so you're, I don't know. You're he sounds a little shaky. He might, he might, he might fold on a questioning, Howard. <laughs> so, don't, so don't have him is what you're saying, right? He might fold on a question. No, All you right. got entertainment. I got $10. This kid's going to knock it out of the park either way, like you said. All right. Like, his logic the other day, Howard, was he didn't want this to ruin his upcoming possible acting right. role. Right. Yeah. And I asked him, I said, you know, because all the acting roles he's got is from this show. Right. So I said, how long have you been calling into the show? He said, eight years. Right. I said, how many acting roles have you got? Two. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, I don't think you have much to worry about. Just right. go for it. If you want to be in entertainment, well, here's a great way to get in. What movies he in? <laughs> he was in a show called Fringe. Fringe. An American well, Dream. An American James. Yeah. What happened to Willy Wonka? <laughs> you're yeah. fucking wrong. You could have had Willy Wonka. You fucking dropped the ball. What's the matter with you? You should be. Well, Willy Wonka, they had 40 fucking midgets in there. Where were you? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It should have been an Oompa Loompa. Should have been an Oompa Loompa. They needed 40, 50 people for that thing. Mr. Pesci, have you ever worked with midgets? I mean, you've worked. You've worked. Yeah, a couple times right. here and there, you know. Right. Seen with one. You know, Willy Wonka would have been act. terrific for him. Would have been phenomenal. Yeah. Right. Would have been perfect. This guy. Mr. Pesci knows. All right, Eric. Uh, uh, I got to make a decision here. I got to get this going. Hey, Al, listen. If he doesn't do it, I'll do it. All right, Eric. Thanks. All right. I love you. I love you. I mean, did I just tell him I loved him? Yes, you did. What the fuck is wrong with you me? You must be noisy over there from Eric's negotiations. You know what it is for a minute? He sounded like a woman, so I, I got confused. All right, Robin, I'm going to let Eric the Midget have a shot at this. Oh. I think that it's Ooh. a mistake. I'm going to let him have the shot. Because he's, as Fred said, he's going to get everything he wants and we won't get anything. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like, you know, these are great opportunities to get celebrities and you know, rock them on their heels a little bit. He's just going to fucking piss it away. Right. And we're going to work hard on questions. And you're going to end up buying him shit. He, right. he wants fucking camera equipment. He wants double hotel rooms. Right. He wants per diem. Oh, I got a Sharon Stone, but a less shorter. fucking <laughs> glomer. Fred, you're an idiot. I think uh, what if I said that isn't true? I think Do you not want camera equipment? Do you not want mileage for your van? Do you not want to stay in L.A. another night or two to see Jimmy Kimmel and another show? Come on. Lopez. You panhandling yeah, Lopez. leprechaun. <laughs> He's got to stay another night to see Lopez. If you shut up for a minute. <laughs> if I shut up for a minute, you'd be putting your hand in my leprechaun. pocket to take my You're just going to let that joke go? What I'm panhandling fucking leprechaun. This guy's buzzing my ball. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I said that, fucking leprechaun. I said that it would be acceptable for one room with two beds that they don't have to book two separate rooms. I mean, the kid needs a room. I mean, come on. Are we renting yeah, him a van? Yeah, but he's not going to give you what you want. No. And Howard, he, says, I, he swears he's going to. Are I, you I, renting a ever... van? Are you renting a van? Eric, am I stupid for believing you? No. You're really going to come through? Well, like he's going to tell he, you. You right. said on your website you'd never ask our questions. And to tell you an example of how hard-headed my dad is about the mileage... My roommate and I have to write down on a ledger every time we use that van, where we take it, how far we go, and everything like that. Hmm. Oh, is this what does his father know he's that we his, don't he, know like, where he takes this van? Right. Yeah, he must be abusing the privilege. Of course he is. He right. says, Dad, I'm going to milk store. He's in fucking right. Montana. The guy, the, the, <laughs> Eric's looking at moose. Eric, cattle wrestling. <laughs> Eric's 38 years old. 38? 38 years old. Yeah. Whoa. Still, Still doing with his father. Years my age, thank you. How old are you? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, I don't want it to blow my rolls in Hollywood. 
But meanwhile, you got to hand it to this kid. He only had a life expectancy of 19 years. All right. That's beautiful. It's so a beautiful thing. Yeah. His parents are looking at their watch. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was, I like Buzz's balls. That was rough. Yeah. <laughs> Cross the line. What's it, this guy? Kick him right down with dirt. Are you, are you Kick him down three inches. <laughs> <laughs> now he's, he's smaller than a minute. Fred. Yes. The quote of movie title, Drop Dead, Fred. Ooh. Why haven't your parents put you in a shoebox and left you in the desert? <laughs> they they deserve a fucking medal for putting up with your nonsense. <laughs> they really have to be the most remarkable people on the planet. And your buddy Jan, he deserves a medal too. All right, look, I don't know what to do. I don't do. know how this turns so ugly. I mean, I, listen, I still think it's a win-win situation for everyone in the <laughs> it's audience. It's not a win-win, for sure. If he goes and he fucks it up, we're going to yell at him for two weeks. Yeah, but you could yell at him at any time. All the expense, all the heartache, I mean, all the talented people that Gary, are going to be wasting. What are we talking about expense-wise here? What do we have to do with that stupid van? we got to what? Right, so, so probably we'd have to give him money for the van or we have to rent a van. If we're going to do the bit where we follow him from home, we got to send a camera guy up there, put him up in a hotel room for a night. And well, the camera guy is so what? That's our camera guy. No, but I'm saying we got to pay for that. Well, yeah, but we'd have Wait. to do that anyway. Well, yeah, but, but, the, but the fear is that the camera guy, this was Doug's fear. The camera guy gets up there, we pay for the hotel, we pay the guy for the day, and then Eric says, no, I don't want you to shoot. That, oh. Then that cost is wasted. I see. Um, oh. we got to get him there, pay for that. we got a hotel room for, you know, Eric wants to stay an extra night so we go see Jimmy Kimmel. It was a lot. Of, it's a couple of grand. Oh, B, couple and of grand. And Eric, Eric, can't, can't, Eric can't ban us from filming him. No, on if the he's street. working for us, he's got to be open to all of the stuff we need to do. But right. if you would let me speak, I'm trying to say that, Howard, the other day you understood why I didn't want to have. A camera crew here at the house. Yeah, I don't Nobody want. Nobody said in the house. I don't want the camera in the house. But Eric I... just, Eric just said that. No, no, Eric. From the from the get go, Doug sent you an email and he said, "We'll start with you when you get in the van." And you said, "You sent that scathing email. No fucking way. You're not getting in my fucking van." Yeah, I mean that's unre unreasonable, Eric. Oh, no, no one wants that. I mean, why would Jan want that? That person would probably be. Kind of critiquing the way Jan drives or no. whatever. No, he's going to just film. He's not even allowed to be a participant in that kind of way. He's it's just like a, supposed to observe what's going on. It's like a reality show. You're not going to get much. I mean, I... Well, that's it. You don't he's have to worry. Difficult. He's already being a pain in the ass. You're right. We don't care what he gets. He just needs to have the camera they going. Want, they want B-roll of you guys driving to the event. you got to let be, them do their job, Eric, you know? I'd be sleeping more... That's, That's funny. That works for us. He's not asking you to pretend to be something you're not. Right. That's well, my question. Is Jan allowed to, are we allowed to shoot Jan? If we can't, then what's the point? Right, because he's, 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 he's attached he's to He's going to be completely a huge part of this. So if there's right. restrictions, like what restrictions are, spell it out. Yeah, let's have it. Have the real <laughs> deal. Is he going to be able to be on camera? Yeah, I mean, I can. Say, mm. you can't get a straight <laughs> answer. Well, you know, what? Let me finish. I'm trying to say that as far as I'm concerned, just recording me at the event is fine. Why do you have to have all this extra build-up to the event? Because you're not going to do anything at the event, so at least we'll have some audio of you <laughs> with the trip. Getting there <laughs> right. to do nothing. It's called insurance. <laughs> And because you're a midget. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you're a midget walking a little Oompa Loompa, coming down the stairs, getting in the van, taking out of here. You got two hours of material right here. You got to feel me doing everything. Fucking trying to take the lid off the garbage. It's hilarious. Jim Brewer, what have you really... Who the it's fuck so are you up, Jim Brewer? You Who's Jim Brewer? I'm going to hang up on you. 13 years ago I worked with that guy. <laughs> have we, Howard, have we even addressed whether or not he's going to dress like a bee? Uh, that's none of my business. That's I have nothing to do with that. Yeah, but should he be in an outfit? Put him in a Oompa no, Loompa. He wants I'm, to be an listen, actor, right? I want this guy. This is what He's I want. He's supposed Eric, to be in a little tuxedo. This is in a little tuxedo. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's I, nice. But for, yeah, I do want you to dress nicely for the yeah. event and have some respect. That's what I will do. All I right. will have... A tuxedo? tuxedo? All right. Yes. A tuxedo works for me, right? Boy, can we go to that fitting? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, you got to film that, Robin. Go on, a little guy coming in there, get a little bow tie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I still have my tux for my brother's wedding. There's no fitting needed. Oh, darn. Good. One less expense. All right, listen, Eric. Here's what I expect. And but, I, I, I got to put a stop to this because it's All right, I, got a lot I have of things a question, though. Yeah. I have a question. Will the cameras be allowed in the hotel room for his getting ready? All right, here was, here, here's, here's what I want, Eric. Here's what I want. I want the camera guy to go with you on your trip. In other words, you don't have to do anything. He's there in the car. It's like a reality show. If for eight hours you sleep, that's, that's it. it. That's reality. You don't have to put it on. And neither does Jan. Jan just drives. Jan drives, you sleep, you have a conversation, you don't have a conversation, you can ignore the cameraman. You get to the hotel, the guys aren't going to live there with you. You do a few hours, you let the camera in, you let them uh, sit there and tape you in the room, you're plotting your, you know, your questions, whatever. I don't even care if they sit there and, you, and you're farting, I don't care. <laughs> just whatever it is. Don't get all uptight. I don't think that Johan wants to be on camera. Oh, uh, uh, see there? Oh. He's trying to manage Always it. Listen, problem. Eric's got Always a problem. He's a got problem. a he, listen, is... but Eric's got a problem. His guy is this Jan. In other words, he's handicapped. He needs somebody to help him on and off the toilet. So he's got to have Jan there. <laughs> Poor bastard. What if so we, I mean, Eric doesn't like this any more than you do. I mean, but I... but the problem is, Eric, we want to shoot you. And, and Jan is a part of it. He's just going to corrupt everything. Yes, but, but you got to go take the, Listen, you got to take this up with Jan. I'm if, trying to say something. Let me say it. <laughs> See, this is what going to be like on the red carpet. Right. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, Fuck you, Tina Fey. The red carpet situation, Jan could stand behind the cam and not have to worry about being on camera. He doesn't have to stand up there with uh, me at the front I see what you Doug, what about that? Do you yeah. want to just shoot the event? And, we could uh, we could do that. I think we're going to miss. I think the gold is going to be getting right. to that red carpet. Well, I agree. You know? I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. All right, Eric. Uh, it, so is he sounds, in or is he out? It sounds like he's out. I see. Yeah, it, it's I a, don't want to be out of this. But you but have too many <laughs> conditions. Yeah, it's, it's, it's restriction after restriction. We want to use you for the TV show. You know, we want to have you. We want to We want to make all this happen. But I, I can't make it happen if I got all these restrictions. You understand? Can I talk to him? Why sure. is... well, I'm going to let Joe Pesci <laughs> talk, talk to you. Can Maybe I talk he'll talk to you. Go ahead. Listen, Eric, listen, listen to me. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. You want to be an actor, right? So you've got plenty of time to sit there and, and look in a mirror and start doing some scenes. So when these guys come along, they see, you sit there in your sleep and you're doing for out thou uh, uh, Romeo this is, Julia, this is you're a doing huge your scenes. opportunity. You're okay, right. yeah. not only that, you're sitting there in the hotel room. Let them come in, and you're doing scenes from a movie. No, the problem it, is it, the problem is he's got Jan with him. You're not. You're, who the fuck is Jan? <laughs> now you're gonna deal with Jan? Yeah, now Get the fuck out of Jan. Put him in another room. I'm playing with Yo Yo. I'm talking about this guy. Get cracking he's up. He's gonna be there while he's sitting there playing with Yo Yo doing lines. Yeah, Let Jan do the fucking lines with him. Well, look. Can I just Eric, say one thing there yeah, go before ahead. he goes? Uh, Eric, listen. When I when I first started working here, I was uh, in a meeting with the news team, and they said we need someone to go cover high pitch Eric shitting in a bag and weighing it. And there was no question in my mind of how huge that opportunity was for me. I didn't ask about hotel rooms. I didn't ask about mileage. I didn't ask. I need this. I need that. I went. I stayed in that creep's apartment Shuley for became, 14 hours. What Shuley's saying, Eric, is he became part of my important part of my life and an important part of my team because he was can do. You understand? Shuley was a, a listener sitting in a fucking room calling me. Like, just like you. Just like you. I was up the same hour and as I you used, were. I used to say to Gary, that son of a bitch, he, he, he's up for anything. I said, I gotta, if I get over to Sirius, I'm bringing that guy over. That's what I, I liked his attitude. You, on the other hand. You are such a pain in the ass, and, and, and that's part of your beauty and all that. But, but really, he's never going to get anywhere no, with yeah. that attitude. You're always going to be a call. He acts as if he deserves every amenity, and he hasn't done anything you're, yet. You're a can't-do uh, guy. I don't and, act like that, Robin. But, Eric, you know what the th point is? This Shuley ended up coming over here. 
Now the fucker's on every goddamn channel. He is serious. Channel. He's almost the entire serious operation. Yeah, he's on every station. I tune on Jay Thomas. He's on. I tune on that <laughs> miserable, t men. miserable men show. He's on that. I tune in the news. He's on that. I tune in this. Now he's here. <laughs> now this guy can have a book, and the first chapter says, "My life started with shit in a bag." <laughs> That's right, and he's and he, he doesn't have an attitude, and he's full sized. <laughs> I mean. Buckwald now meets with Shuley for contract negotiations. And all of a sudden, I, got, I, I, I can't live without Shuley. Before, he was nothing. He was a fly. He now, was, all of a sudden, I can't live without him. He was a phone caller you were avoiding. Yeah. Now, he's running everything. You don't see him running around going, hey, can I stay an extra day for Kimmel? <laughs> right. He never does that. Holy crap. And, Eric, you've tried. You've done it your way all this time. You've only gotten two acting gigs. Imagine if you were can-do and you didn't say no and you didn't throw stipulations out there. Imagine how much work you'd actually be getting. You know what we should do, Shirley? Forget Jan. We should have you go with, with Eric the Midget. Let's go. And you wheel him around. I'm down. Let's do it. It's a good idea. Every day, put a new outfit on him. <laughs> yeah. Today, he's Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> the next day, he's... Where's my Superman cape? <laughs> the next day, he's Justin Bieber. Well. Shirley. Yeah. Get on the road with him. Can you dress him up as Superman? Iron Man, Superman. Iron Man, whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Just h keep his clothes from him and then just dress him up in whatever you want. Yep. You could um, be Robert Downey Jr. Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what about Shuley going with you? What's, oh. what's, what's Jan do for you that Shuley can't do? Do you get anything specific? Does Jan shower you and, and wipe your ass Shirley, and all that Shirley, stuff? will you shower this I got a five-month-old baby now. I could do that, no yeah. problem. Will you mind showering him? Mind? Of course not. Can right. you diaper him? It's every fan's <laughs> dream come true. Eric, when he gets you in the shower, does he have to wash your balls? No, he does not. So I, all he's got to do is load you in the shower and you do the rest? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, then Surely. I think he can handle it. What does he got to no. do, lift you like a baby? Or has he got to, like, just hold you from under your armpits? The point that I'm trying to say is <laughs> John gets paid by the state. So we'll Surely pay him. Doesn't. He'll get paid well, by the state. What's that got to do with anything? Yeah. What, what's the difference? Taking, that would be taking money up. Away from Jan. Well, Jan can be there. Doesn't Jan ever get a day off? Right. I'll be on camera, Jan, and he'll be off camera, Jan. I mean, Shuli's going to put you in the shower. He'll scrub you like a potato. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> what? I don't want to be on cam in the shower. No, you're not going to be on cam in the shower. Not no, alone. Just, we'll be on know, cam together. Headed right. there. <laughs> You don't mind being on camera with Shuli's cock in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shuli does whatever it has to do. Shuli's I'm a team player, man. Shuli's taking a shower with Eric. <laughs> Not only that, this guy's 11 inches tall. Just throw him in a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Eric? I'm <laughs> trapped in a salad spinner. <laughs> He's clean. <laughs> hey, crystal clear, crystal clear. <laughs> what about that? I'm three foot, you jackass. <laughs> He's not 11 inches tall. Mr. Pesci, apologize. He said, I apologize. Put him in a in a dryer. <laughs> Put All him right. in a sink. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Eric, here's my point. What we'll do is, listen, Jan is st still on your payroll. You can have him doing other things. But Shuli goes with you. And that way Shuli we get the footage. And that way we can shoot you wherever we want. Shuli will do all... Uh, what else does Jan do? Does he have to wipe your ass? I'm being serious. No, he does not. All right, does he have to load you onto the for, toilet? And for any idiot out there, I do not fucking wear diapers. I... Would you mind wearing a diaper while Shirley's on in charge? I'll bring my daughter's diapers. I will diapers. myself like any other normal person. All right, you got regular underwears. Yes. All right. Man's man. So you, in other words, what Shirley would have to do is load you into the shower. Or the dishwasher. And what do you have to do? Does Shirley have to stand there while you shower, or like that you call him back in when you're done? I call him back in when I'm done. All right. So what do you mind? I mean, you're going to have to hold him naked. I don't mind. You don't care? I'm a team player, man. You tell me what you need from me, and I'm doing it. All right. Done deal. God, I love you. That's it. You're so, you make my life easy. That's why I love you. you know, and you're funny, and you're, you're interesting. 
And it beats being on a phone for four hours oh, waiting for you to pick right. up my call. Good for you. You know? Now you know, I'm here. I wish I could put your brain in his head. <laughs> you're probably going to have to be naked, too, when you mm -hmm. hold him because That's you, what I was you'll saying. get wet. I, I don't want to get my clothes messed up. All right. Because I'll be in a tux, too. Mike, Shuli, that's a very nice cock. <laughs> Does Shuli have to towel you off or you do your own toweling? I do it myself. All right. Because I could grab you with a towel <laughs> and pull you out. <laughs> You know what? How about you don't shower for two days? <laughs> that would be awesome. That would even be better. Yeah, then I'd smell like high pitch. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, if this is what... Okay, I'm putting this on the table. i got to be done with this. I have so many other things I to know. get to. I like that Jan has to put him in and out naked, and his problem is being on camera. Right. That's his problem. <laughs> right. I understand Jan. Jan ain't looking to be in show business. I get it. The guy has a serious job. He works for the state, as uh, Eric points out. Eric needs Jan. He doesn't want to piss him off. Okay, so I'm going to solve this problem very easily. With Shuli. Shuli is going to step in and, and help Jan. He's going to be Jan's man. assistant. Yeah. In other words, Shuli will do whatever he needs to do for Eric. Right. And from what Eric describes, m most of this is showering him. And what else? What, what other duties does Jan have? Not much. Do you exactly. dress your, does he, do you dress yourself? Yes. Does you, you want Shirley to lay out your clothes like a valet? Tell me. You want him, what do you want him to do? Well, that's kind of what Jan does, and he helps me with my socks and shoes. That's all do you mind helping no him problem. with his socks and shoes? No problem. You know, he's club-footed. Club-fucking-footed. Yeah. I'll go easy. All right. You know, take he needs special help. you got to be gentle with his feet. Yes, because that foot's... Oh. No, I'm sorry we'll to hear that. We'll take it easy. All right. Seriously. Yeah. You'll help him with his shoe, and you'll you'll put him in the shower. And if he, if he needs a lift onto the toilet or whatever that fuck he needs, you'll help him. I'm Other there. than that, it sounds like he knows what he's doing. Put he on his little booties. Right. And then you <laughs> you bring him to the Go to the, the event, red carpet. And Jan can be there. Jan cannot be there. Whatever it is. Whatever Jan wants to do, can do. But Jan doesn't have to be a Doug, what do you think? It's just, this sounds great. Right. I just, I still am not a believer that any of this is going to happen on the red carpet. Is this going to happen? Here, here's what I, can I tell you what I think? I think he, this is a complete agenda by Eric. I think he just wants to get to L.A. to meet celebrities, and he's using us and saying he's going to do it. And when it comes to the celebrities, he's going to introduce himself, say he's from the Howard Stern Show, say he's an actor, and not even get to the questions. Then you should never take his calls again. All right, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. That's what, that's what I if really think. If he does is, that to me, I will never talk to him again. Banned. You've said Banned. that before. I you know. You said that. You <laughs> said that. Crack. There's no banning Eric from the show. Right. But now he really would make you look stupid if he did. Right. If you he, throw you're going to make me there. look stupid. I mean, come on. No, I will not. All right. Well, then well, we... again, we have in the hole the interview with whatever her Brandy name is. Brandy Talor, Robin. Don't yeah. act like you don't know her name. <laughs> so one of the things we're going to tell you, Eric, is you can't tell the celebrities you're from the Howard Stern Show and you can't tell them you're an actor. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Okay, look. Eric, you're in. Don't fuck this oh. up. Surely, you hear any nonsense, tell me, and we pull him right off the gig. You got it. The, the microphone, obviously, it's not going to say any, you know, have any logo. No, no mic flags. No, lo no, no uh, mic flags, as uh, Doug says in the business. <laughs> All right? Right. All right. Thank you, Eric. You're on. All Don't right. fuck it up. I'm it's gonna call back him on. later. I'm gonna call him later and see how things have changed. Right. Right. You yeah. uh, Shuli, you report to me, and Shuli, you can pull the plug on this any time. You're completely in charge. Okay. If you and Doug tell me that there's nonsense afoot, right? Get them out and book. I don't know somebody else. Okay. We have a list of people who are waiting to do this. All right. You, you two are in charge. It's no longer up to me, Eric. Okay. If you fuck this up, they pull you right <laughs> off. And let okay. me tell you, I'll take every opportunity, um, Eric. I'll take your spot if you want. Right. I'm okay. exhausted. I need a nap. <laughs> right. He's on. He's off. How about if, yeah. it's if, it's if, if he fucks this up, could we try to wash him in a dishwasher? <laughs> no. Because we, we would be done with him. And, 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 and Doug Goodstein is coming with you. Not in your house, but after you leave your house, he's going to get in the van with you and surely, and you're going to go. And if Jan wants to be there, he can be there. I can't have any headaches with this thing. Be can do like Shuli is. That's how Shuli works here. You want to be can do? Why? What? Why can't you just let me 
do the drive without the damn. Oh, oh there we go. Fuck oh, my God. We're back in negotiation again. Oh, Scato, oh, stop. Oh, Scato, oh, stop. Fucking whack him already. It would have lasted 10 minutes in the fucking Joe's Pizza place down the corner. Right. Holy crap. I don't this is the this is the nightmare. This is this is. I get, listen, you guys can pull the plug whenever you want. What? One of the reasons why I stopped getting on the JFSC cam so much is I don't want people seeing me with the damn rubber oxygen tube up my nose, and that's oh, how right, well. the way I would be in the van. What if we blur it out? What about on the line then? I don't have to use it while I'm fully awake and sitting. I see. In other words, you, you you feel you don't look your best. Right. Oh, boy. Some actors do make that stipulation. They do not like to be seen taking oxygen. Yeah, I mean, Mr. In Pesci, scene. you don't want to be in a scene with the oxygen to take oxygen. No, no, no. It's embarrassing. Right. I need more. Yeah, it's too much. Well, can you guys work this out with him? Yeah. And if he can't, then just get, give up, okay? I'm leaving yeah. it in your hands. Okay. If you guys give me the word he's out, he's out. You'll be I'm, cool I'm, if we bail I'm, on the coverage, half, half of it, and just do the carpet, because yeah, it sounds you, like this ride's going to be but gold, but a pain. You decide, but I know I want some footage in the car. Okay. Maybe there's points he can, uh, you know, I mean, or maybe he can get over this vanity thing. I know he's yeah. a handsome guy. <laughs> uh, maybe the oxygen tube thing ruins his image with the girls. I understand that. Believe me. I look like I got tubes hanging out of my nose. <laughs> All right, you guys work it out. If you, for any okay. reason you smell, if you smell something's off, yeah, you know, we'll just let Shirley talk to him for five minutes, and he's just going to probably unwind and say, I'm not doing this, not doing that, not doing this. Right, so th and then pull the plug, and then you know we have a list of people who are ra waiting to do this, and then we'll get one of them, <laughs> all right? Okay. We'll be in constant communicado. Uh, okay. Does anybody right. want to bet whether Eric winds up on the red carpet? Uh, I say no. He's a pain in the ass. But I've, 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 sh I've given the okay for Eric to do this, but now I'm putting it in the hands of Shirley and Doug. If Shirley right. and Doug feel there's just no can do, if it's not going to be good television or radio, out the window, and we get a new guy. All right? Hey, how many roles have you been up for? Somebody fucks up, and then another guy comes hey, in. Hey, Bing, can do, can do. This guy can live in a can of Mountain Dew. And... <laughs> yeah, right, can do. And I want to retract my $10. I'm out. <laughs> I don't trust this guy for nothing. That's a HowardStern.com poll. Yeah, do you think Eric the Midget will end up doing the red carpet interviews? 18% said yes, 82% said no. Wow. <laughs> the people know. The people know. All right, Shuli, Doug, you're in charge of okay. Eric the Midget. I wash my hands of this. Eric is in as far as I'm concerned until you say he's out. If you say he's out in five minutes from now, he's out. Eric, listen to me real carefully. You want to be in entertainment? You want to be an actor? Yes. Do not pass this opportunity up. Do whatever it takes and make it happen. It'll only benefit you. You understand? That's good advice. It's as good let as you'll him, ever get. Let him talk because he's going to say, but... Watch. Mm. All right, go ahead. One of the things that Johnny keeps telling me is to keep the health issues hidden. And what? Health yeah. issues. Well, we know you have health issues. <laughs> That's easy when you're in a wheelchair. Uh, how is he going <laughs> to keep everything <laughs> hidden? Maybe they should hide me Listen, in the car compartment. You've always stood for honesty. Why would you sweep this under the carpet? You're an inspiration to a lot of handicapped people. What, are you going for leading man roles now? Yeah. I, <laughs> there goes my role in Jerry Maguire, too. <laughs> there goes my role in Law & Order. <laughs> Special <laughs> midgets unit. Your health having issues the, would, would only benefit you at this point. Nobody's got what you got. Having a camera on me showing that I have to use oxygen. That oh, we know it. You've already oh. made it clear you have to right. use oxygen. You're saying it right now to millions of people. And what will it do if people know that? He's afraid. You ever see a show, for those of you who are older, it was called The Price is Right uh, or, 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 or Tell the Truth. There was a guy, Bill Cullen, he was the announcer. He had polio. They never showed him on camera with his polio. But this is a different scenario. We can't, you take one look at you, you know you got problems. You, you know, you've got multiple handicaps. So everybody knows it. And what if somebody came to you tomorrow and said, we want to do a reality show on you? And what are you going to tell him? Well, you can't he film me here, a, you can't he, film he me there? He wanted to be in a reality show. He right. wanted to be on that midget show. Excuse me, little people show. We can get on there. <laughs> uh, Dominic, what did you want to add to this discourse? And then i got to move along, honestly. I think you take the negative and make a positive. You have him in a wheelchair. 
he has a, a little button that raises the wheelchair as the people walk by. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's going to happen. So right. that the people see him even a little higher. <laughs> So he talked directly at him. All right. The tube is behind him. No, please. That's, that's silly. Spec the gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Spec the gadget is right. Suddenly Dominic's no longer a lawyer. He's MacGyver. It's yeah, he's building contraptions out yeah. of nothing. Here's what you do. You put him in a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> and then when the celebrities come by, you, you pop up. out. <laughs> Some people love it. Some people get scared. Oh, look at Midget popping out of nowhere. Surprise. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, Hansy, what is it? Please, quickly, I've got a million things to get to. No, I think it's fucking bullshit, man. What's it called? You know, I, I, I want to do I want to do this shit, and then this guy's giving you all these demands and shit. I don't know. I, I just think that, that, I don't know. I should be given the fucking opportunity to do that, man. The Hansy's dying to get on the red mm. carpet. He's fearless, too. On Twitter, he goes after celebrities left and right. Yeah, well, and I mean, Hansy's... He's, he's, oh, he's, Hansy's he's has Hans another problem. He's a Hansy full. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, uh, this I guy, think we'd have another problem with him. Yeah, I don't know. Well, when, how, how, you might go okay. off half cock. Right. I'm not showering Hansy. You're not? <laughs> you refuse? I would draw that's when I'm not can do. Uh, Hansy, please, let me work this out. Oh, uh, whatever, man. All right, thank you. Right. Okay, now Hansy's upset. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now Hansy's upset. Everyone is upset. Big deal. Big deal. This guy. A lot of sympathy. Well, there's a lot of problems, this guy. Yeah. You know, everybody's got... Uh, Hansy has an imaginary friend that can't be filmed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know that. <laughs> just hey, kidding. imaginary friend's probably a punt. A loser just like him. No, come on. I'm just kidding. All right, Eric. Uh, you're in. I'm allowing this. If uh, the two gentlemen that are in charge are Doug Z. Goodstein, executive producer of Howard TV, who will be shooting this for Howard Television, and Shuley, who is from the Howard 100 News Department, Jay Thomas Show. He's on the Bubba Show. He's on Miserable Men Show. And there's, a, I think he's on the new Sports Fantasy channel. Al Q. He's on Al Q. He's on everything. Uh, Martha Stewart. Yeah. He's over there cooking. Right. <laughs> so. I guess well, everywhere. Here's the suggestion. Play. Take. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, please. Let me say a little suggestion. Sometimes in the acting world, if someone's a little out of their mind and, and we know we're going to have problems, we get a backup just in case. Right. So this way, we string this banana mm -hmm. along. He don't work. Bing. We throw another guy. You're right. It, and they got words, a little competition. They got to they gotta do one another. Ah. Now, Mr. Pesci has made an excellent, uh, you know, when there's an understudy in a theater, the you, actor you're always shows more up. likely to be at the ah, job. Ah, now you're talking. You hear what John, I'm saying? You hear this? Yes. Ah, we got a salute. Thank God for you. Hey, so who are we going to get? Who does get? Eric hate the most? Who are we That should be get? the understudy. Steve Langford. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a list of people who want to do this, ready to step in. Hey, watch this guy. Hey, film me here. I'm taking a shit. Film me now. Hey, I I'm want you my on this shoot that you're doing for Howard TV and, of course, for uh, Howard 100 and Howard 101. I want you to bring an understudy as well. So the understudy will be tagging along. Right. At any time, Eric can see this guy and see that this guy's ready to step in and that'll keep him motivated. Who would be the most irritating to Eric? I know he doesn't like Jeff the Drunk. Wow. Well, now you <laughs> Oh, my God. Eric, if you fuck up your understudies, take them right over so I don't get screwed. That's it. I need, I need insurance. Now, Jeff did uh, leave me a message yesterday asking if he could do the interviews. Oh. Well, so he's Mr. Already... Pesci, there you go. Done deal. There you go. I got you back. Uh, you're my number one guy, Eric. But don't let me let, see the understudy uh, come in. It'll be sad, but... At least we'll get something At least I'll get on my... tape. That's right. Shell moves on. Jeff, you understand the concept of an understudy? Uh, it's anybody, anything, I don't give a fuck. No stipulations. You can film me taking a shit. <laughs> don't care. And the understudy will be with Brandy Talur. Right. Oh. Uh, that's right. If... He'll get the show. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Wow. <laughs> Really? Doug's head spinning, thinking about Eric and Jeff. <laughs> I'm, and I'm actually thinking of Shuli. <laughs> His head's going to be spinning. Shuli, 
you're in charge with Doug. Right. And if you guys think Eric can't handle it, go to the understudy. Here's the question. Do you think by the time the show's over today, will Eric be out? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. He'll fuck it up. He's going to say something as soon as truly. I know, I know it. I just know it. Or there's going to be an email with stipulations. I thought about it and blah, 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 blah. Right. All right, Eric, I wish you the best. You got the job back. All right. To me, to me, it should be enough on you guys that, A, if I fail, I never get to call in again, and, B, if I exceed... No, everyone well, around here knows I can't resist your phone And calls. you can't resist us either. Right. right. No, that's not going to work out. And we I get need... to bust your balls for months and months and months. Right. All right, Eric, you're on. You'll be on the red carpet. Let's uh, let's make this work. All right. Thank you, and thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Right. Thank you, Eric. And report Hi. to report to Shuley or Doug if you have problems, and then they can throw you the hell out. Uh, <laughs> All right. 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 Thank you. Like a retard. Uh, <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, yeah, like you, you should speak calling me retarded, half-wit. You're dumber than me, asswipe. No, I'm not. I didn't get drunk in a car and crash. I didn't drive, douchebag. Oh, my God, I smell a great... I love special. that they're going to be traveling together. <laughs> this is a hit. Are you kidding me? Get me some fucking popcorn. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got to go. I got to interview Jerry O'Connell. Bye, Joe I, Pesci. Thank you. I was born with my disabilities. You caused yours. I didn't drive, douchebag. <laughs> Let's call this special the odd-looking couple. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of the odd couple? This is the odd-looking couple. Uh, Eric, I do have to correct you. Jeff the Drunk was not driving drunk when he lost his arm. Someone else was that driving. That seems to matter little to yeah. Eric. But didn't you hit a cornfield? Like, weren't you in a cornfield? Yeah, but that was after he lost right. his arm. Yeah, that, oh. yeah. that was after. I think Jeff was drunk in the car, but he but wasn't he was driving. driving. Right. Now he only drives drunk. <laughs> No, I don't drive at all. You won't drive at all. Well, well, he doesn't have a license. Yeah, your license was taken away, but that's <laughs> yeah, another story. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose that did happen. Yeah. All right, Eric, Jeff, Jeff, the understudy. Eric's the main guy. If Eric gives you guys a hot problem, go to Jeff, okay? Slide Jeff yeah. right in there. There you go. I'm on it. I'm looking forward to Jerry O'Connell's new TV show on CBS. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to you fucking this up, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, thank you. Just like everything you fucking do is fuck up. No, it's not. It is. You fuck everything up, <laughs> asshole. Everything. And that's from Jeff. He's a real loser. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Bye. Later. Later. Uh, good luck with this, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Eric the Midget, Jeff the Drunk, Shuley, Doug Goodstein, you're my team. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, it's Thank all you. in your hands now. Oh, my goodness. This is right. how I run my organization, <laughs> as you can see. This is a, a tough assignment. Yeah, this is oh tough. God. You run a tight ship, Howie. Well, that's ship. right. And thank you for your suggestion, Mr. Pesci. Hey, peace All right. Hey, Joe man. Pesci, by the way, for those of you just tuning in, has been sitting in this morning. He agreed because uh, he's a fan of the show to be our guest announcer today, and I appreciate that very much, sir.